Hey everyone, today we will look at this 2019 BMW X5. In this video I will show all the details of this beautiful carbon black X5 30 diesel with the M Sport package. It has the brown leather interior. Every possible feature is on this car. It has even the ambient lighting in the panoramic sunroof. 12,000 LEDs are used. Now, this is the fourth generation. BMW sold about 2.2 million of these SUVs. And the design is completely new. It has the new design at the front. We will take a look at a few moments. In this video, I will show all the details and we will do a test drive in the city and on the highway. This is the X30 diesel with 265 horsepower, 620 Nm of torque, 0 to 62 in 6.2 seconds, the top speed 230 km per hour, that's 145 miles per hour. It has a 3 liter 6 cylinder engine with an 8 speed automatic transmission and you can buy it with the shift pedals. There's a more powerful diesel engine available, the XM50 diesel with 400 horsepower and two turbos. There's also a X40i petrol engine, three liter six cylinder, and there's a V8 petrol engine available. For the first time, it is available with the 22 inch M rims. It looks fantastic. On the previous generation, you could buy a 21 inch. This is a new uh, offer by BMW and now, Let's take a closer look. When we take a closer look, you can see the new laser headlights. It's an extra feature. Standard, the X5 comes with the LED headlights. These are the optional laser headlights. You can see up to 500 meters. The daytime running lights are now more, more beautiful in my opinion. The angel eyes are changed. It has the new kidney grille, which is larger now. And it is one piece now, as you can see. And the flaps open when it's needed. This car has also the air suspension, it has the 360 degrees camera system, it can automatically park. The front bumper is a M Sport front bumper and you can see the new fog lights integrated in them. Uh, the design is more aggressive and the details are beautiful in my opinion compared to the standard X5. It has also the adaptive cruise control radar in the front bumper. The side profile of this new X5, you can see this beautiful line. It gives the car a more masculine feel and look, and it makes it more aggressive. This SUV is the best driving SUV you can buy, and I will show why in the test drive in a few moments. The design is very attractive in my opinion. You have the M logo, you have the air outtakes, which are fake but look beautiful. You have also the blue brake calipers, just like a M model with the M logo. That's a nice detail. Of course, it has the keyless entry and keyless start function. It has a panoramic sunroof. This car has also the shadow line, so all the chrome parts are finished in uh, glossy black. You have the blind spot assist, the camera underneath the mirror. Air suspension, of course, you can raise and lower the car. It looks fantastic. The taillights of the new X5 are 3D, and I must say, on the pictures, it doesn't look good, but in real life, it looks better than the previous generation. The previous generation was too aggressive. These are more beautiful and classy, in my opinion. You have the rear spoiler, you have the rear wiper. It has the rear view camera and the rear view camera turns, actually. That's a really clever system by BMW. So when you turn the view, the rear camera, the rear view camera turns. That's beautiful. You have the new exhausts. Uh, chrome tipped and I like the shape of it. Of course you have the dual tailgate and you can also open it with your foot or with the key and you can close it and open it with the key and a nice uh, feature when you press this it closes both and it has the tow hook of course. And you can see the automatic tow hook, very very clever. Now the X5 has the folding rear seats, just pulling these and they, fo they fold completely down as you can see, 40, 20, 40 and you can even buy it with the rear seats as I said. And when you pull this, this stands very clever.
Now, when you enter the X5, you can see the beautiful lit up M logos on the door sills. Easy access. The seats are very comfortable. Let me turn on the massage system. It has new programs. Let me select shoulder massage. And let's look at the new X5. You are sitting on it rather than in it. Uh, the interior is completely new, just like the exterior. A very beautiful detail is this new glass gear lever with the X logo eliminated in it. Very classy done by BMW. It looks fantastic. It's an extra, but it looks so beautiful. The start button is now on the mid console. The iDrive buttons, the start button. This car has also the adaptive mode, which is also new. Air suspension, of course, as I told earlier. And the driving seat, the view is nice. You have the head-up display, the new 12.3 inch instrument cluster. You have the 10.25 inch uh, iDrive 7 system, the new system. Touchscreen, of course, with the gesture control and the very good quality cameras. I will show it in a first person view. New instrument cluster, new 10.25 inch touchscreen navigation system, the iDrive 7. It is also available with the iDrive 6, the new glass gear lever as I said, the new climate control settings, heated seats, cooled seats, massage system is on, automatic wipers of course, automatic lights, strip computer, automatic high beam, the buttons for the lights are also different now, there's a little storage area, the engine, uh, the storage areas are quite big. And you can see the ambient lighting stripe here. I will show it in this video. Now let's go over the details. Uh, first of all, I want to say that this design for the interior is much better than the previous uh, generation. Big screens, new gear lever, start button is now here. This is heated, the armrests are heated. Storage area, USB input and you can charge your phone with a cable. There's also a wireless uh, charging point here for your phone or your display key. For the first time the X5 has the display key. I really like this glass gear lever. Look at it. So classy and so beautiful. The iDrive uh, buttons, this is also uh, extra. You can also write on it. Uh, you can write the address down. It has the air suspension. You can raise and lower the car. Different settings for that. When you turn it in uh, sport mode, it will automatically uh, lower the car. Hill descent, of course, electronic handbrake, auto hold, and this is also new. You have the Sport Comfort Eco Pro mode, but you have the adaptive mode. That's new. So basically, the adaptive mode, uh, when you turn on the adaptive mode, the car knows automatically which style you are driving and puts it in Sport Comfort or Eco. We have the start button. On the previous generation it was here, but it's now on the mid console, better place. You, have, you can turn off the start stop, parking sensors, cameras. Let me show you the cameras. The quality is so good. Top view of course. And you can see around the car, live images. Rear, front camera, everything is possible. And there's a 3D view, so you can move around the car. You can see around the car. So it's a live image of the surroundings. What a beautiful view! I mean look at it, Audi has the same system I think, it looks really cool, nice done by BMW, great. You don't have to uh, <laughs> see around the car, you can just look at the cameras. Touch uh, screen as I said earlier, the home pages instant power, instant info, G-meter, torque, power, 
and so on the bars sports displays are available these are the new sports displays car settings now the lights there's also the ambient lighting so let's look at that the colors dual colors just like the new 5 series and 7 series you can also choose one color and you can you can adjust the brightness dynamic lights different modes which I showed earlier now the languages available for the X5 are these let me turn on English and you can talk to the car so let me show that hey BMW hello what can I help you with turn on heated seats Set the seat heating at the driver's seat at level one. Oh. Hey BMW. Hello, what can I help you with? Turn on heated seats level three. I set the seat heating at the driver's seat at level three. Oh. Hey BMW. Hello, what can I help you with? Turn on the massage system. I am setting the massage for the driver's seat at level 3. Hey BMW. Hello, what can I help you with? I love you. Try it again. I love you. Please repeat your input or say help. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's the... Sorry. I didn't quite understand okay I'm sorry bye <laughs> the navigation is a very fast system it looks great and it has the traffic information of course Android Auto Apple everything is possible Bluetooth of course Wi-Fi and you can buy it with the entertainment system if you want can set up driver profiles you can go on the internet lovely done I love this new screen now here you have the cup holders the wireless charging USB power outlet and a little storage area the one two three settings of course the quality of the buttons is really cool you have also the climate control settings this is also new with the screens and you can buy it with the uh, perfume system just like the 7 series the ambient lighting here and here looks beautiful the huge panoramic sunroof and I like the, this the lighting on this X5 beautiful SOS button dimming rearview mirror you can open the sunroof of course LED lights in them nice done very nice now when I enter the car you can immediately see the M logos which is illuminated by the way it has a very good quality for the leather you have the sun shades of course fully loaded you have the huge panoramic sunroof with 12,000 LEDs in it so it has also the ambient lighting in the door panels and in the panoramic sunroof very cool done by BMW the door panels are made out of leather the storage areas are quite big you can fit bottles here just like the front uh, door bins there's also armrest with cup holders and a little storage area as I said you can even buy it with a uh, third row there's also a four zone climate control with heated seats for the rear passengers and I like the new digital screen for the climate control 
a very cool detail of this X5. You have the ambient lighting also in the uh, seats. So at night, this is also illuminated. Very cool done by BMW. It has a dark headliner because it's an M Sport package. It has a Harmon Kardon sound system. Lovely done. You can't recline the rear seats, bar, but they are very comfortable. I'm one meter and 83. This is the uh, this is the space left. The headroom is quite good. My head is not touching the roof. My knee is not touching the front seat. Now in the comfort mode, uh, the air suspension is working great. You have that uh, ship feeling as I call it. Uh, it's like riding on a boat, very comfortable. But compared to other SUVs in the comfort mode, you have more connection with the car. Uh, that is the reason why BMW is really good at building driver's cars. They are really good. Very soft, the seats are very comfortable, you can adjust the side bolsters. I turned the massage seat on, I turned the cooling on. It's so nice. And I must say this new design for the interior is very attractive. I also drove the BMW 840 diesel. Uh, that's also on my channel Alatin61 YouTube. You can search Alatin61 8 series and you will find the video. I will also drive the 850i. So the seating position in this X5, you sit high in this car. You have a great vision of the road. The door panels are uh, located low so you can see clearly out of the car. I must say this digital instrument cluster could be better but overall there's a lot of information. The G-meter, uh, the refueling, media, instant power, nicely done sport mode in the sport mode it be it becomes a driver's car it becomes the full bmw as i call it the air suspension stiffens up uh, in corners it's uh, planted to the road lovely done the safety systems are immense you can see a lot of uh, details side collision warning, front collision warning, lane departure warning give way so nice and I like the fact that they changed the uh, climate control you are sitting in a uh, car that looks and drives and feels expensive this car in the Netherlands, the price for this X30 diesel X-Drive with all the features, just like this one, is around the 125,000 euros. So the price is also good, I think. And with the Eco Pro mode, you get a blue screen, just like we know it from uh, the previous generations. It looks great. But this is for fuel economy. The acceleration for a 2060 kilogram SUV is really good. Plenty of torque. Of course, there's the X50 diesel available, the M version with 400 horsepower. But this is really enough for the Dutch roads. Now, let me turn on the lane assist and the steering assist and I can let go the steering wheel, very clever system. It works perfect, it stays between the lines. The head-up display works great. The sound isolation is really good because the front window is an acoustic window. really nice the ambient lighting of course there are different colors available it has also the perfume system just like the 7 series and the 5 series that's also a nice feature after a while you have to 
touch the steering wheel again because uh, it will think that you are sleeping so it will carefully stop put you to a stop after uh, a while if you don't touch the steering wheel and it is very accurate I love this system I love this system of BMW it is a nice feature to have finally BMW changed the interior of the new X5 full power and it speeds really good it is planted to the road especially in the sport mode even though it's a SUV it feels like a full-size sedan car to drive BMW is really good at this this is the best driving SUV you can buy I'm really impressed in the comfort mode you have that uh, boat feeling but in the sport mode it's just planted to the road the visibility is great as you can see I like the size of the mirrors the side assist is working great the massage system works great and I like the fact that uh, when you turn on eco pro mode that the screen turns blue now this is the iDrive 7.0 system the newest the latest iDrive system it works perfect and as you can see there is the 850i very soon a full review driving review will be online of this 850i what a machine two new BMWs on the highway this is made possible by Braemon BMW next week I will drive this 850i and you will see the video hey <laughs> what a nice coincidence now let's carry on the test it is a great long distance SUV the best driving SUV the air suspension works great there are different modes available cross snow mud and it has an automatic hill descent system on it thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode of alatin 61 see you at the next review